How do I keep my accounts using a spreadsheet? Well, in this simple guide, I will demonstrate that accounting spreadsheets are the easiest and the most cost-effective way of keeping your accounting records. In fact, accounting spreadsheets are the answer for most small businesses. As an accountant in the small business sector, I'm often asked by clients, what accounting software should I use? And my answer is almost always, don't buy accounting software. Use a simple accounting spreadsheet instead. Why? Well, firstly, because spreadsheets are very easy to use and spreadsheets can easily record all of the basic accounting information you need. Secondly, accounting software needs to be set up correctly and that requires accounting skills. The last thing you want to do is to spend hours trying to set up your accounting software and then, through a lack of knowledge or understanding, get the whole thing totally wrong. It's a bit like having a train without a driver. And finally, accounting software is expensive and almost always you are paying for a ton of features that you simply do not need. In short, accounting software is hard to set up, has far too many unnecessary features and it's expensive. So let me present the case for accounting spreadsheets. Now, before we dive into demonstrating how to build an accounting spreadsheet, I would just like to point you towards a couple of our free accounting and free bookkeeping templates. These free templates are based on earlier Mr. Spreadsheet videos and they can be viewed and downloaded directly from our website. Simply follow the links in the description section below and all we ask is that you subscribe to our channel and give this video a big thumbs up. For every business transaction, we need to record the transaction date. So let's enter the 1st of January 2023. Then we need to enter the type of transaction. In this case, we will enter a bank receipt. Then we need to analyse or code this transaction. Now, as we have just sold some of our products, we'll call this sales of type A. A short description and reference is optional. I've put in widgets grey and invoice 12345. Now, if this transaction is subject to sales taxes, then we will need to record the tax rate. Let's say that our state taxes are 6.5%. Finally, we need to record the gross value of the transaction, so enter in $106.50. Now we need the tax value of the transaction. In this instance, it would be $6.50. And finally, the net value of the transaction, this would simply be the $106 less our taxes of $6.50 to equal $100. Occasionally, you may want to record extra information, such as 1099 payments to contractors, or keep totals of your transactions with a particular customer or supplier. So let's add in a final column to record this. We'll just call it contacts. And for this transaction, our contact is ABC & Co, one of our customers. Now we can enter in a few more of our bank transactions, but this time I'll use the accounting spreadsheet template to do this. On line two, I've entered in a date of the 2nd of January 2023, and from the transaction type drop down box, I've selected bank payment. I've chosen XYZ and Co as our contact, and then I've analysed the transaction to materials. The description is widgets green and I've given it a reference of 9087. There are no tax implications for this transaction so I've just entered in the transaction value of $52 in the amounts column. Now this automatically populates the tax, the net and the total values. Please note that as this is a payment then the values are shown as negatives. So, using our accounting spreadsheet template is both very quick and very easy. 
As we progress and enter in further transactions, you can see how the accounting spreadsheets dashboard works. In the top right, we have a simple summary of our four bank accounts, detailing the opening balance at the start of the month, then totals for this month's receipts and payments, to give us a closing balance for each bank. You can then easily reconcile this closing balance with the balances on your bank statements, thereby ensuring that you have recorded all of your transactions for the month. We have already stressed the importance of keeping track of your profitability. So, the profit summary on the top left of the accounting spreadsheet gives us both a simple picture of both this month's performance as well as a cumulative or running total for the year to date. Note that the table summarises your sales, cost of sales, your expenses and finally any write-offs that you may be able to claim. So. As you enter each transaction, the profit summary will be updated, keeping you constantly in the picture. The accounting spreadsheet also incorporates a filtering facility, which allows you to drill down on each monthly worksheet to perform an analysis or an inquiry on any of the 12 column headings. So, for instance, if you wanted to know how much you have spent on material purchases in the month, simply click on the downward pointing arrow to the right of the analysis heading. Select materials from the drop down box and the accounting spreadsheet truncates to display only those transactions where the analysis is equal to materials. The filtered total section on the dashboard gives you the total values of these transactions. This filtering facility is available on all of the monthly worksheets as well as other selected reports and schedules. At the foot of each monthly worksheet you have a comprehensive profit and loss statement which details your balances for each analysis type for both this month and the year to date. Now this is great for you to monitor the month's financial progress in fine detail. Now that we have recorded our month's accounting transactions, we can organise the data to produce some essential business reports. The most important of these is a detailed month-by-month -month profit and loss statement, where you can track all of your incomes and expenditures on a single worksheet. This is simply great for analysing your business performance. We also have a month-by-month -month breakdown of your sales taxes, Using this simple worksheet, you can easily track your taxes for your quarterly submissions. The spreadsheet also incorporates a comprehensive contacts database. Here, you can record the basic information for your selected customers and suppliers. This database is linked directly to the monthly worksheets, so month-by-month -month turnover details are maintained. This is great for keeping on top of your 1099 contractors' financial records. A detailed record of your non-profit and loss items are also maintained in a simple month-by-month -month format. There are many other reports and schedules, including a year-at-a-glance schedule, which details all of your year's transactions on one single worksheet, and to enable you or your accountant to download a file containing all of the year's transactions, we have incorporated a separate worksheet in CSV format. Now, to help you with your quarterly tax estimates, we have a unique worksheet that analyzes all of your transactions on a quarter by quarter basis. This is ideal for your submissions to the IRS. As well as a comprehensive notes worksheet, I am sure that you would agree that a well-designed, simple accounting spreadsheet is far easier and less expensive than complicated and often overpriced accounting software. So, not only do you have a simple accounting spreadsheet, you also have all of the basic reports with which to monitor your business's progress and provide you with the information required by the tax authority. And that's it. Your accounts are all done. 
If you would like to get a copy of our free templates, then all we ask is that you subscribe to our channel and give this video a big thumbs up. Alternatively, you can visit us on Facebook, Instagram or Twitter. Many thanks for your attention. If you would like to view our other videos on how to design bookkeeping or accounting spreadsheets, then why not watch our Create a Bookkeeping Spreadsheet in Excel video or try viewing our Accounting Spreadsheets, the Excel template video. Many thanks once again for your attention.